You're watching Ramping Up Your English. This is segment two of episode 72. If you enjoy watching birds and other animals, you'll get to watch more in this episode. Our project for this unit on animals is to choose an animal and write a report on it. Our previous episodes have demonstrated how to report on many aspects of your subject. Today, we're going to approach the report from a little different angle. Now, if you've researched your animal, you have probably found a great deal of information about it. This information can be seen as answers, answers to questions about your animal. Now, when it comes to questions, there are various ways of asking them. Today, we're going to review some very important English words involved in questions. These words are called interrogatives. The word interrogative is connected to the word interrogate, which simply means to question. Now, back in junior high school, I learned that news reporters always made sure they had the answers to these interrogatives in every story they filed. Let's pronounce these. Who, what, where, when, how, why. Look for a pattern in these words. You may notice that they all begin with the two letters W and H. The single exception is how. It begins with an H and ends with a W. Now these six words are powerful for asking questions. Let's look briefly at the outline for the animal report. We want an animal that is uh, its description, its classification, its range, and its distribution. We also want its diet, life cycle, physical and behavior adaptations, and conservation status. Now, as we begin segment three of episode 72, let's see which interrogative best fits each of these tasks. So let's start with beginning of the list, the interrogative who. The word who refers to a person or group of people, including an organization of people. For example, you could ask who discovered that chemical DDT was damaging the eggs of certain birds. The answer is the name of a single person, Rachel Carson. You could ask who manufactured DDT. The answer would be the name of a chemical company, since no single individual made the chemical. You could further ask who banned DDT in the United States. The answer would be an agency of the government made up of people, the Environmental Protection Agency. Now notice all the interrogative sentences end in a question mark. So questions like these can be asked about the conservation status of your animal. By asking such questions, you may be able to add information to your report. It's important to note, though, that there are other interrogatives that could be used to ask the same question. For example, you could use the interrogative what to ask the same questions. What is the name of the scientist that discovered that DDT was damaging the eggs of certain birds? What chemical company made DDT? So, um, you could also use which. I wanted to bring this up. I wasn't sure, but I should. Which is not one of these six, but it always implies a choice between more than one, like several agencies in the government. You could say which agency banned DDT, or you could say, stay with the interrogative what if you wanted to, what agency banned DDT. It's all kind of the same information. Now the interrogative what is one you'll use often, but it can be a little tricky sometimes. What can refer to a thing, living or non-living, the first question you probably answer when doing your report is, what animal will I research? Well, the interrogative what can be used with all parts of the report. What does your animal look like? What is its classification? What is its range or distribution? What habitat does it need? Many general questions can begin with the word what. Now, the thing is, like other interrogatives, the word what has to have other words to make a grammatically correct sentence. The tiny word is often occurs with what. An example is, what is the classification of a bald eagle? 
If the answer to the question is plural, more than one, the partner word is are. What are some of the adaptations? Now, other words that need to be uh, with what include do or does, have or has, is or was. Let's look at the word does in the last sentence. The words do and does are necessary in English, although it's not so in other languages. In Spanish, for example, you can correctly ask, ¿Qué come los águilas? Well, in English, the question must have the word does to be correct. Now, this is just a partial list. The main thing to remember is that the interrogative what needs a partner word. Now, the word what can also, why it's very widely used, actually, for questions, so much so that it can easily be overused. It's important to get experience with the other interrogatives to broaden your language and to cover all the information you're asking about. Now, we've already seen what the word who refers to. It refers to a person or a group of people or even a character. Let's look at the other interrogatives on the list. We still haven't talked about the interrogatives where, when, how, and why. Now, these are less general than the word what, and it's important to know what kind of information they relate to. Let's keep going down the list of the interrogatives, starting with where. Now, what I want to do right now is advance this to where we're looking at the interrogatives where, and I believe I've got it. You'll see it in just a moment. The word where always refers to a place. The section in your report on range is perfect for the word where. The simple question, where do bald eagles live, can also be answered um, by location or range or locations. Bald eagles live throughout North America. The word where can also inquire for the type of place or habitat in which an animal lives. Where do bald eagles live? They live near bodies of water. So where can inquire about an animal's habitat? So the interrogative where always is answered by location or a place. So when your report's range and habitat, you've answered the question of where the subject of your report lives. Now the next interrogative on the list is when. Now it also is specific. When refers to the time something occurred or existed. Now think of your animal's life cycle. The information may answer the question, when does it mate? Or when does it reach maturity? It could also refer to the conservation status. When did the EPA ban DDT? Now we reach the interrogative on our list that doesn't begin with a W. The word is how. It's tricky. How can ask for the way something is done or the way that things are related. An example is, how does a bald eagle catch a fish? Or how does the eagle's talons help it get fish? The word how can also be used to quantify, but it must have a partner word like much or many. An example, how many eggs does a bald eagle lay? Or how much does a bald eagle's nest weigh? So the interrogative how is a natural choice for asking about an animal's adaptations or about any quantity of things, you know, number of things. It can also ask questions about an animal cycle, like how do bald eagles mate? Now, if you've chosen eagles as your report subject, you'll find a very interesting answer to that question. Now we come to the last and most troublesome interrogative, why? The simple answer to the question why is because. So as we see here, because, the answer to why has to do with cause and effect. Why did the EPA ban DDT? Because it was damaging the eggs of eagles and other birds. The other answer to why is so. Why eagles bring their talons forward when swooping down on a fish? So they can grab the fish. The interrogative why can be used for many requirements of the report. From their range to their life cycles, their adaptations, conservation status, and more. But I need to give you a word of caution. The word why can be troublesome in this way if it's used too generally. Questions like, why do bald eagles exist? Or, 
Why do they eat fish? tend to be too general to answer.